हेलो स्टूडेंट गुड इवनिंग माय सेल्फ गोरे सर आई एम आई आई डी के केमिस्ट्री फैकल्टी आई एम वर्किंग एज ए आई डी के केमिस्ट्री फैकल्टी फ्रॉम लास्ट 18 ईयर एंड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ओ होप यू आर डूइंग वेल एंड यू डूइंग स्टडी वेरी वेल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस एक्सेलेंट ट्रिक टू फाइंड इलेक्ट्रॉन विड्रॉइंग ग्रुप एंड इलेक्ट्रॉन डोनेटिंग ग्रुप within the fraction of time you can find which one is electron donating group and which one is electron withdrawing group uh on on the board you see there is benzene woman man what is this uh let's we go towards our trick and find very easily okay uh, i take this one benzene and to the benzene there is suppose to be y group is attached then z uh, to the y there is z group is attached if the z is more if the z is more the z is more electronegative then it is electron withdrawing group if y is more electronegative then it is electron donating group simple way among this to come only you have to compare among this two which one is more electronegative if z is more electronegative then it withdraw electron if y is more electronegative then it withdraw electron and donate to the benzene ring electron withdrawing group deactivate the benzene ring and electron donating group activate the benzene ring as we know that when we move from left to right in the periodic table there is increase in electronegativity this is carbon nitrogen oxygen fluorine this is 6 7 8 9 when we move from uh, when we move from left to right then electronegativity increases electronegativity increases and when we move from top to bottom top to bottom electronegativity decreases i was telling a reader why uh, why electronegativity goes on increasing why electronegativity is decreases there is a simple reason atomic size goes on decreasing atomic size goes on decreasing and that's why electronegativity goes on increasing that is simple reason uh, but uh, you know that whole organic chemistry the uh, compound is made up of only carbon hydrogen oxygen phosphorus nitrogen fluorine means halogens halogens and sulfur all organic chemistry is made up of these element this element and we have to compare only this element electronegativity to find which one is electron withdrawing group which one is electron donating group uh, let's see what one one uh, example first is this is the benzene to benzene there is a cyanide group is attached cn group is attached this one c is our y and n is what our z z among these two among these two which one is more electronegative z or uh, n or carbon nitrogen is more electronegative therefore it is electron withdrawing group electron withdrawing group second is this is carbon and this one is oxygen as we know that oxygen is more electronegative than the carbon means z is more electronegative therefore it is also a electron withdrawing group and we move to our third example this is our y and this one is our z oxygen and carbon which one is more electronegative oxygen is more electronegative than carbon means y is more electronegative than the carbon therefore it is what it is electron donating group clear then move to our fourth example this one is carbon this one is oxygen oxygen is more electronegative means z is more electronegative therefore it is also what electron withdrawing group electron withdrawing group uh, in the fifth case there is a halogen is attached this halogen bearing a lone pair of electron bearing a lone pair of electron it can be easily donate and it is electron donating group electron donating group next is amide this is amide 
then benzene and C double bond O CH three. This is the amide, and in this case, nitrogen and carbon is present. C only of these two carbon, X and Y, X and Y carbon, X sorry, Y and Z, Y and Z. This Y is more electronegative than Z. Therefore, Y is more electronegative than what electron donating group. Electron, electron donating group. You simply remember. You simply remember. This is the benzene. This one is woman, and this one is the man. If man is powerful, if man is powerful, then it is electron withdrawing group. If woman is powerful, then it is electron donating group. Electron donating group. And keep in mind, this is very important concept when you uh, learn uh, electrophilic substitution reaction. Competitive electrophilic substitution reaction. For that purpose, uh, this concept is very important. Keep in mind. Keep in mind on the thing. If this man is more powerful, more electronegative than electron withdrawing, and when this is this is more electronegative than electron donating. You simply remember I here, I here, man. Man is for most electronegative. This most electron negative means what? Electron withdrawing group. Okay, clear. And suppose to be I take another example. I write here. This is a benzene ring. I write here uh, C C double bond uh, C C H two C H two and then C L H two C L. Then what is this group? Clear. This is carbon. This carbon. This one is the hydrogen, and to the carbon there is the chlorine. Chlorine is more electronegative. Chlorine is more electronegative. Therefore, what happens? This is electron withdrawing group. Electron withdrawing group. Clear? And this active deactivate the benzene ring. Hope within the fraction of time you can easily learn which one is the electron donating group and electron withdrawing group. Uh, please subscribe my channel. Uh, the, the channel name is Dr. Goreshwar Technic Chemistry. Hope you understand this concept. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching my video.